it is an absolute trophy. Come to get a close up look of that. It also comes with a plum sauce, but I'm just gonna taste it just like this on its own. Really quickly before you continue watching this video, I wanted to let you know that I published a full Hong Kong travel guide over on my blog, migrationology.com. It includes all the details of everything we did, especially all of the food and the restaurants and all the details. You'll find all of that in the travel guide. So I will link it below in the description box and also maybe try to link it somewhere here. Uh, but go check that out for all the details from all of these videos. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Hong Kong. It is a downpouring morning. It's raining really hard, and so the only logical thing to do this morning is to go eat dim sum. This restaurant is called Sam Hu Yat, and this is just a neighborhood, kind of hole in the wall, family run dim sum restaurant in Hong Kong. They have all of the dim sum within the bamboo trays steaming right at the front of the restaurant, and so you just pick and choose the ones you want. I really love this place. This one is the Xiu Mai, and then also this one, I'm not sure what this one is exactly called, but my mom always calls this Fu Jok which is the, the bean curd. And then I think there's minced pork in the middle. This one is the classic chicken feet, had to go with the chicken feet. Also got some shrimp hakao. And then also some meatballs. And then my personal favorite, I had this yesterday as well, lo mai kai, which is the treasured sweet sticky rice. Okay, I'm gonna begin with one of the shou mai. And I think these are, I'm not sure if there's shrimp in this one or mostly just minced pork. That's salty and porky and oily. Oh, that's delightful. Let me follow that with a swig of tea. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this chili sauce, put some in my bowl. All right. While the hot cow is hot and fresh, I'm gonna have one of these. These are little shrimp dumplings. Dip this into the chili sauce. That is just a good classic hot cow. The sticky, glutinous wrapper and then just filled with shrimp on the inside. Next up for the bean curd rolls, and this has been one of my favorites since I was a kid. I love that bean curd. And it may not be the prettiest, that like crinkly bean curd, but it tastes fantastic. Oh, I love it so much. I think it's stuffed with minced pork, mushrooms, and carrots. And then that skin has a little bit of a chewiness to it. A quick dip. Let me open up my package next. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I get excited every time I unravel one of these. Oh, I love how it just glistens. And you can immediately smell that aroma of the lotus leaf. Peel that back. Okay. And you can see all of those, those, those insides just oozing already. How sticky and hot and wonderful that is. It's so good, it's so comforting. Mm. The rice is just glutinous and sticky, and then it's gooey on the inside with minced meat and maybe some sausage in there as well. So awesome, and followed by pea. Actually, now that I taste more of that, I think it's chicken in there. I don't know if there's minced pork, maybe minced pork as well, but mostly chicken. Meatball time. Oh yes, these are some, whoa. These are some stuck together meatballs. That's gonna take a little bit of prying. All right, here we go. Oh, and I think there's bean curd on the bottom of it too. A meatball definitely needs to be dipped into the sauce. I've got a hanging piece of bean curd on this meatball as well. just solid minced pork but it has a little bit of a spongy texture to it and then I 
also had to go for the chicken feet. Look at these big wrinkly feet. Oh yeah, that has a lot of skin. And a lot of little bones as well. It's pretty good. It's very, very gelatinous. Very, very kind of squishy and and a little bit leathery. It tastes like tastes like very soft leather. And you can actually feel like that grip on the bottom of the chicken feet. It's like goosebumps. There's actually a lot to eat on these chicken feet. Pure satisfaction. I love this place. It's small, it has a neighborhood feel to it. I think a lot of the people that come here live in the area and have been coming here for many, many years. And this is a great place to have a, a real hole in the wall style dim sum experience in Hong Kong. Well, I guess you can see it, but it stopped raining while we had dim sum, so perfect. It's still drizzling just a little bit, but nice that it's not downpouring anymore. Some of you may already know this, but my mother is Chinese, but from Hawaii. And so I grew up eating a lot of Chinese food, and I grew up especially loving dim sum when I was a kid. And so every time I eat dim sum, it reminds me of my family, it reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, dim sum holds a special place in my heart. And almost as soon as I said the rain has stopped, it has started raining again. We are back at the metro station on our way to Central Station and hopefully we are gonna have goose for lunch today. Oh, it is raining pretty hard. I need to take out the umbrella. The last time I was in Hong Kong, I ate roast goose at a place called Gatlok. But some people say that the roast goose at Yang Ki is even better. Say that it is the best roast goose in the entire world. It's a little bit of an upscale restaurant, I think, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I cannot wait to try the roast goose. <laughs> this restaurant has a lot of history in Hong Kong. It started off as just a very, very small local family-run restaurant and it has turned into a goose empire. It's such a tough decision. I'm trying to debate right now if I should order the steamed chicken. I'm definitely ordering the goose, of course, but I'm not sure if I should order the steamed chicken or the soy marinated chicken. Right now, I'm, I'm leaning towards the soy marinated chicken. I made my order for the main dishes, but I also got an appetizer. And they are very well known for this appetizer as well, which is thousand-year-old egg. A half, I got a half and also served with pickled ginger. It almost looks like a, like a jello. I'm gonna take some of the pickled ginger, stick that on top, maybe, or maybe all of it. No, maybe two slices. And what should I begin with? Let me begin with the, the egg white, which is actually like, whoa, that is slippery. Mm. That does have the texture of jello. Mm. It's really quite mild. Oh, maybe not. That you can taste that it does have some some age to it. Let me add let me re-add that ginger and all that yolk is spilling out. Uh oh, I'm losing it now. Okay, I'm gonna have to break and pair it together with that ginger. The egg does have a bitter taste to it, but then paired with that ginger, that the, the ginger is sweet. I wouldn't say that's my absolute favorite, 
but it's not bad. The chicken and the choy sum have just come and we're still waiting on the goose. But I should just mention that I ordered tea and I they have a, a number of different teas you could choose from. I went with some pu'er tea, which is a black fermented tea and I really like it. It indeed does have a little bit of a kind of a dirt flavor to it, but it's very earthy, just slightly bitter, but very, very smooth. I ordered the soy sauce marinated chicken. In order to get a real appreciation for this, you have to see it really up close. You can see how the skin is separated completely from the meat and that just that golden soy sauce glaze on top of it. For this piece right here on the top, I think this is a combination of garlic and maybe green onions and maybe ginger, I'm not totally sure, and then oil, which I will apply generously to my first bite. Oh, that's a bite to savor. Oh, that texture and that flavor, that explosion of salty, garlicky, green onion flavor. You can really taste the different textures of the chicken and the skin. The, the chicken meat is like, it's tender and juicy. And then the skin has a very jelly texture to it. But they're like completely separate. And then that sauce, wow, is just, is just, just packed with flavor. Oh, it's salty. It's oily, fragrant. It's garlicky and green onion packed. And also our waiter said that choy sum is in season and I got the version with oyster sauce. Mm. Mm. It's crisp and very juicy. That entire stem is very juicy and I need some rice with that. Oh. Even the rice is really good here. Oh, I think the grand arrival of the goose has come. Let's welcome him to our table. Thank you. Thank you. And on the menu, you can order a couple of different uh, portion sizes. And I ordered the, the section, of course, with the drumstick. She brought it over, and as soon as she brought it over, she uh, topped it, anointed it with a sauce. And I think it's there's some peanuts in the sauce. I'm not sure what other types of juices are within that sauce, but that skin of that goose is insane. It's golden bronze, roasted perfectly, and you can actually smell the aroma of that goose oil and fat. It is, it is an absolute trophy. I'm gonna start with this piece right here on the top. Oh, and just come to, oh, let me pull that off real fast. Come to get a close-up look of that. It also comes with a plum sauce, but I'm just gonna taste it just like this on its own. That is ridiculous. That skin is just completely juicy with, with fats and oils from that goose. And that meat is so succulent. And it has a little bit of a muscular texture to it. And with every bite, you can taste that goose. Wow. Okay, let me reach down here for a piece of the the leg right there. And I'm gonna dip it more into that sauce that came with it. What I like about it is it's not too salty. And you can really taste the flavor of the goose and the succulent meat, the quality, the quality of that goose. And for this piece, I'm gonna dip it into the sweet plum sauce. I think that's a backbone. Wow. That skin is juicing right now in my mouth. 
Okay, that was an incredibly fatty piece. Maybe pure fat. We're about halfway through the plate of goose and this is gonna be my next bite here. You just have to fully examine this bite. Look at that skin that like, it's like a full, it's like a full circle of skin. And I'm not sure, at first I thought it was from the, the drumstick. But maybe it's from the wing because the drumstick is over here on the other side. But there is some meat under here. I think this is just going to be a pure boneless bite with just a little bit of meat. And look at that ratio, that entire like sleeve of skin. You need to just see this as close as possible to just fully appreciate and just gaze into that skin and that bronze shimmer. What I would like to mention is that within this skin, not only is it just juicy and crispy, but it, it has such a complex flavor. You can taste all of that marinade. I'm sure they use a mix of ingredients to marinate it. And then also you can actually taste the charcoal roasted flavor to it. It's like a, yeah, it's like caramelized skin. It's just an absolute treat. That was just the perfect amount of goose. I feel fantastic and slightly giddy after eating that. That skin is just, it's, it's a remarkable thing. It's just unbelievable when you are eating it and you just, I savored every single bite of that. Our total bill came to 654 Hong Kong dollars. Just stepping outside after that meal, that goose has nearly put me into a slumber. It's starting to drizzle again, so I think it's just gonna be a rainy, drizzly day all day long. So we are heading back to the subway. We're gonna go back to the hotel for a little while. I'm not sure if I'm suffering right now from a case of jet lag or a case of goose lag. Yep. I decided to deter the nap by coming down to the club lounge and having a cup of coffee. And this view behind me, the harbor, the, the streets of Hong Kong. We are taking the subway on our way to Temple Street Night Market. Oh wow, it is rush hour right now in Hong Kong. At least we're getting closer. Luckily the trains come like every 30 seconds at this rush hour time, but it is packed. We got off the subway at Yaomate Station and we're gonna go to a restaurant first for dinner before going to Temple Street Night Market. In this area, there are a number of restaurants that specialize in clay pot rice, and I chose to come to Four Seasons. This is a great, like, open room restaurant, and you they, may, they mainly have just a bunch of, uh, a huge selection of different clay pots of rice with all sorts of different toppings. I got the one with Chinese mushroom and chicken, and they also specialize in oyster omelets here, but I think I've had my quota for oil for the day, so I decided not to order that, but just got the clay pot rice, and a, an order of vegetable. This restaurant has an atmosphere that's somewhere between a food court and a garage. For vegetable, I ordered Water Morning Glory. Oh, that's quite a quite a pile of Water Morning Glory. And then fermented bean sauce on the side. Okay, I'll get some of this. And get a little bit of that. I bet that's really salty. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it has a almost a like cheesy taste to it. Very salty, and then the watermelon glory is still crisp and a little bit slimy. But the vegetable is very plain, maybe just plain steamed or boiled, because it's meant to eat with this this sauce for flavoring. Mm. 
It only took about five minutes and the clay pot has arrived hot and fresh. As soon as he brings over the clay pot, then you pay for your meal. And they have the orders written on these little pieces of paper which are kind of like half stuck to your dishes. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that steam smells awesome. Oh, it's so fragrant. It's like a soothing fragrance. The rice, you can smell that like that fresh steamed rice um, with a little bit of a roasted aroma to it. You can smell that chicken and those mushrooms. And you can see how the chicken is almost like melted onto the rice. What you have to immediately do is give it a squirt of the sauce. I think this is dark soy sauce of some sort. All right, I'll just go for a little bit at first. Okay, what I'll do is I'll dish some of it out into my little bowl. Get that piece of chicken. Oh, it does smell incredibly good. That mushroom. Let me go in with my spoon. Get a bit more of that rice. Let me just taste some of that rice first. Mm. Mm. That is really, really smoky tasting. And I think I got a little piece of the crust from the clay pot on that bite. It tastes like the chicken has been marinated in some, maybe some oyster sauce before it was tossed on top of the rice. And yeah, the chicken almost has like a, a melty feel to it. This is just straight comfort food. Chicken and rice and a smoky clay pot fragrance. The rice almost has a nutty flavor. Next I'll try some of this chili sauce. Oh yeah. That's very salty. Okay. You gotta use just a tiny bit of that chili sauce. It's really, really salty. You gotta really splash on the sauce. You gotta like coat your whole rice in it. It tastes so good. And it's like, it's. I think it's soy sauce, but maybe with a little bit of sweetness in it. And I'm just going with that rice right out of the pot on that crusty edge. Yeah. With that sauce all over it. And that crusty, smoky, nutty edge. Mm. That was good. Fragrant, a simple taste, but I like that sauce, the soy sauce. It's just a, with a little bit of a sweet tinge, but it's not like the thick, dark soy sauce. But it tasted really good with that rice and the, the like melting pieces of chicken. Hello. <laughs> And that is right just one lane over from Temple Street. So now we're walking over to Temple Street. We're gonna walk around the night market for a little while. Yeah. At the Temple Street night market, you will find all sorts of random things from electronics and batteries to flashlights and clothes and um, cell phone cases, bracelets, antiques clothes, uh, CDs and DVDs, all sorts of random things. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video for today right now. Ying and I are gonna leisurely stroll around for a little while and then take the metro back to our hotel. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you are new watching this video, be sure to click subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you on the next video. We are on our way. We just took the subway. Whoa, I almost ran into a parking meter. Uh, we took the subway. Just slid out of my chopstick. But one more time.